This is kind of fun. I had a new subscriber tell me that their copywriting coach was using my article about Clayton Makepeace's dimensionalized benefits technique as an assignment. So somebody else is coaching off of my content and uh, it's, it's just incredible content, um, if I do say so myself, because it was inspired by Clayton Makepeace and pretty much everything that I do that's inspired by Clayton Makepeace leads to incredible content. So, you know, the credit lies with that guy. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, so dimensionalized benefits are, they're really like everything. They're, they're about that ultimate transformation that your offer promises, your product, your service. It's about what people really want when they're buying, and it's usually not actually the physical stuff, right? And I tie it back to Clayton Makepeace, and my understanding is that he learned it from uh, his time with Tom Phillips at Phillips Publishing. It was a concept that they really nailed down there. And I just Googled it, like just to find my own article again. And I saw that even like Todd Brown, uh, Stefan George, I, you know, other copywriters and marketers who get a lot of respect in direct response are also teaching it too. Uh, but, you know, I just, I just decided, hey, I have that article out there. And I also figured, hey, why not create a, a podcast episode or a video about it? And so that's what we will dive in. What are dimensionalized benefits and how do you find them for your products, your services, your offer, your copy, so that you can appeal to prospects about like what's really going to drive the buying decision? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's episode. Let's get into it. These are the proven direct response marketing, copywriting, and entrepreneurship success strategies you can use today to write your own ticket and create the life you want. I am Roy Furr, and this is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Now, here's today's breakthrough. All right, today's episode, as usual, sponsored by me. I'm going to ask you to check out the link in the description to High Velocity Copywriting. It's, it's my flagship copywriting program, incredibly relevant if you are learning about dimensionalized benefits and that sort of thing. I'll tell you more about that at the end of the episode, but the link in the description, the first one will take you to high velocity copywriting. And if you're serious about becoming a great copywriter, you should just sign up for BTMS Insiders, my membership, uh, my, my training library full of copywriting and marketing training, including high velocity copywriting, just so you can go through that one program. All right, links in the description, let's dive in. Okay, so what are dimensionalized benefits? Like it, it, this is taking it beyond features and benefits. If you're getting into advertising, getting into copywriting, getting into marketing, getting into selling, you learn this whole thing about features and benefits. And features, a feature of something is what it is, right? It's, it's this, the, the, usually it's a measurable component of what the product or service is. The benefit is what that does for you. And so, you know, colored pencils, uh, <laughs> the feature is that each one has a different color lead. The benefit is it allows you to draw these like rich, colorful pictures, right? And so that's features and benefits, right? Um, you, you know, you buy one pack of colored pencils and you're able to draw just this beautiful, you know, full color picture. So a dimensionalized benefit is how that changes your life. And so that could be, you know, you can express your inner artist. You can capture that perfect vision in your head and share that with the world and get recognition and become the world's uh, greatest illustrator in the color pencil medium, <laughs> whatever it is, right? Like, so features, benefits, dimensionalized benefits. And so at this point, like, okay, maybe this is already obvious to you, but I want to go deeper. I want to share some examples. I want to do all of that. So when I learned this from Clayton Makepeace, it was, uh, this was way back in the day. He was running his, his daily blog slash email called The Total Package. And he wrote this article about dimensionalized benefits. And he explained the process as he went through it. So he would create a spreadsheet for his product. And in the first column, he would write feature, right? A header for the first column is feature or features. And in that column, he would list all the features. And then in the next column, he would write, he would have it, the header would be benefit, right? And so he would do benefit for this feature, benefit for this feature. So this is what it is. This is what it does for you, right? Uh, and 
then he would add individual lines. So like there, there might be one main feature that has five benefits. So he'd be adding lines for the different benefits. And then you go from the benefit to the implication, which is the dimensionalized benefit. So if the colored pencil allows you to draw this, you know, very colorful picture, right? The implication is that you're going to create this beautiful work of art, right? And there, you know, what's the implication of that? What's the implication of that, right? And so it's, it's about thinking beyond just here's what it is and here's the immediate thing that it does to here is how, here's why that's important in your life. Here's how this transforms your life. Here's the long-term implication of that. And um, if you don't like spreadsheets, and honestly, I think for this exercise, spreadsheets are, are maybe not the best way to do it. If you use mind maps, mind maps can be a great way to do it. So your first level uh, node, I guess, uh, would be the, the feature. And then the next level node would be the benefit. And so you can spread out and have multiple benefits under that. And then the next level node would be the dimensionalized benefit, right? And you could also do that, like I use Workflowy a lot. It's become kind of my go-to. I use it more than I use mind maps uh, for just general getting stuff out of my head. And all that Workflowy is, is an infinite list software, like infinite nesting lists. And so I go from benefit, you could go, or you could go from feature to benefit to dimensionalized benefit. And you could just create that list and it's very flexible. The whole point is getting it out of your head and really getting in the practice of thinking about this so that when you start to promote things, when you start to explain things in your marketing and your copy and your selling messages, you're instead of just saying, okay, here's these colored pencils and there's 24 colors and they allow you to, you know, make a pretty picture, right? You can start to imagine as if you are the prospect why they're coloring pictures in the first place and what are they hoping to get out of that and i know i'm just talking about color pencils right now i'm going to share some other examples in a minute but i'm trying to carry you through this thinking with something super simple and super obvious because this this practice when you get into it for example i don't want to go into too many details here but um, i did a copy review last week and it was you know, well-written copy. And there was a lot of like, the product is this and it does this for you. And there was the immediate benefit, but it didn't look beyond that. Like how is this person's life transformed because of that immediate benefit? And when we started talking about that, then it's this sudden complete transformation of like this person who might've felt timid about going out in public prior to the transformation possible from the product can be confident showing up in public, showing up in social situations, showing up in professional situations. And so, you know, by talking about the dimensionalized benefit, obviously, you know, that's, it, it, it feels a bit generic, but if you're able to capture perhaps in a story, that transformation from being completely timid about showing your face to completely confident about walking into any situation, Man, that's a life-changing event. And, you know, if if that product does what's promised on the, you know, what's promised on the package, right? If 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 those benefits are possible, the dimensionalized benefits are also possible too. And so that's what you're looking to achieve is you're looking to find this way in which their life is going to be dramatically different as a result of going through your product, service, whatever the offer um, does for them. So I took some notes here on some examples of the dimensionalized benefits technique. Uh, so for example, in, in the health, like if your product is related to health, a couple examples here are, you know, number one, pain relief, right? So you could just talk about pain relief, like, okay, you're in pain, this helps relieve pain. Great. Uh, well, one of the things that being in pain will do, like I had, I had a tension headache, uh, well, I guess it was over the weekend and, um, it was in my neck and I, when I started to try to exercise, I like had to just sit down on the floor because I wasn't able to move without 
triggering this pain, right? And so having that freedom to move again is way more powerful than just pain relief because pain relief is like an immediate obvious benefit, but the freedom to move comfortably. And if somebody's in chronic pain, uh, you know, they may be in a, in a situation in their life where they are not able to play with their kids and grandkids, right? Um, and so this relief from chronic pain may be the ability to like show up and be present and be a physical part of their kid's life, of their grandkid's life. And so it's, it's not, hey, come on, grandpa, don't you want to play? Uh, come on, come on, grandpa. Uh, it's, it's, hey, wow, uh, like grandpa is in there and playing, you know, whatever with us or whatever, right? Uh, so it's this, it's this narrative arc. And I talk about this in other contexts, a, a hell to have a narrative arc. What is their current hell that they're in and what heaven is possible through the benefits of the product, right? And so instead of, come on, grandpa, don't you want to play? It's, holy cow, grandpa just smoked me at basketball playing in the driveway, <laughs> whatever it is, right? Um, but it's that transformation that's possible through the, the mechanism of pain relief, right? Or maybe cosmetic, and this kind of ties into, you know, without getting into too many details, if they fix this cosmetic issue, they go from like hiding themselves, playing small, shrinking, like in life, like there are people who feel a need to hide themselves. And if your product can help them show up confident in life, uh, when I think of Maxwell Maltz and his psycho-cybernetics, Maxwell Maltz was actually, he wasn't trying to be a self-help author initially he was a plastic surgeon and he said some people when they go through plastic surgery have a complete transformation like they show up completely different the next day right it's just like the thing happens and it fixes it and they're they're able to just show up completely confident and he said some people still are like hide themselves right so it it's not a magic wand or whatever to get plastic surgery but his whole his whole thing of like doing reconstructive surgery after an accident or something like that, and somebody was very self-conscious about that, now those people are suddenly able to show up confident in life and there's implications for their relationships, for their work, for other things like that. Um, in wealth, particular like wealth categories, you know, there may be something like income being the focus. And so there could be somebody could have a lot of current fear and economic uncertainty. It could be at a personal level. It could be at a societal level. Uh, so for example, when the markets are down, a lot of times income offers are bigger because the because people are afraid of what's going on on a big societal or market-wide level. And so they're just looking for the predictability and reliability of income. And, and so that's like an imme more immediate benefit. But then what freedom does that give them to live their life, the life that they want, the, to have the experiences they desire, whether it's about having income security in retirement or having income security in today's market, it's still about what is that income going to buy them? And most often it's something like, you know, some kind of lifestyle, some kind of experience, some kind of living their life, right? Or if you're, if you're on the other side of this, if you're on, instead of like, security of income, if you're talking about big gains and money-making opportunities, it could be the, the, the dimensionalized benefit could be something different. So it's about, oh, you know, cash these big checks, but then what's the lifestyle that that person wants? What's the possessions that they're trying to get? And that's where you run into like pictures of fancy cars and fancy houses and all of that, or like, uh, you know, globetrotter vacations. And it's, it's the desire to do cool shit without thinking twice about money the, and, and um, to be seen doing cool shit because a lot of those people, there is some kind of superficial driver there of, of wanting to be seen with the stuff, right? But again, it's about trying to figure out within the mind of your prospect, there's a feature and there's a benefit, but why do they want the benefit? Why do they want that thing? Why do they want the outcome that your product is promising and it's bigger? And if the more you can tap into that, even with just like little things like stories, example, uh, for example, being being a way that you can tap into it without being really direct, like this is going to change your life forever. Uh, um, you know, vote for Pedro and all your wildest dreams will come true. Uh, it, you don't have to do that. And that, you know, that can be counterproductive. But can you show an example of somebody who had that kind of transformation 
as a as something for the prospect to grab onto as oh yeah maybe that's what I want right or maybe maybe I could get that here. Um, in the context of relationships, uh, so many of us have like this fear of rejection. Um, you know, for men, oftentimes it's status. It's there's like this feeling of of status, and it's it. If I'm going to talk about gender stuff, there's of course a whole spectrum of what drives people, right? Uh, for, if there's a, a spectrum between status and security, right? Men are more likely to fall on that status side, and women are more likely to fall on the security side. But in the context of relationships, it's it's like what status does this relationship give me, or what security does this relationship give me, um, or you know what a both. Um, but but there's this immediate like oh can I get status in the eyes of this person can I get security with this person right um, and how does that make me recognized and valued in the relationship and there's some more immediate benefits of that um, maybe this person who you admire suddenly admiring you and this can be this can also be like in a work situation or whatever it doesn't have to be in in like a romantic relationship or whatever but ultimately. In the context of relationships, you can think that they're always kind of going for happily ever after. Even if you're looking for like a mentorship or looking for being able to, to make connections at work, right? It's about achieving the happily ever after. And certainly in the context of remote uh, romantic relationships, most people are looking for happily ever after um, or some variation thereof, uh, you know, at least a great relationship that ends on amicable terms, no matter if it's work or whatever, right? It's still looking for this whole idea of this relationship as positive and will always go in a positive direction. And how can you tap into that with whatever you're trying to do in terms of here's the feature, here's the benefit of the relationship promise that we're making. And I'll say like in the context of all of this, often dimensionalized benefits are where direct benefits often expand into other areas of life. So for example, you know, talk about wealth, right? But what does wealth do for the respect that you get for, from other people? What does wealth versus, versus being in a constant state of lack? Or health, like how does health impact your family relationships, your, the way that you're showing up in the world? Uh, with relationship stuff, like how does that affect your career, your mental emotional health, like all of that stuff, right? And so oftentimes you may start from this place of, oh, this is a relationship-based product, or this is a health-based product, or a wealth-based product. But how does that impact people um, beyond that particular thing? And that's often where the dimensionalized benefits why? And at the deepest level, at the deepest level, if you can identify with your product, your service, like why is somebody buying this from the context of like what, what hole do they have in their heart or their soul that they're trying to get filled? And I know that may seem like a lot. Like if you're just, if you're trying to sell bread or something like that, it may seem like a lot. And, you know, bread doesn't necessarily need the same level of selling that some other offers do. But like, what's that hole that they're trying to get filled and how does it get filled? And that is most often where the dimensionalized benefits lie. And I do have a couple notes here. Um, I'm realizing this is quickly slipping into being a much longer than normal episode. Uh, some notes here about some other methods to uncover dimensionalized benefits. I'll go through them really quickly. In Japanese manufacturing, there's this technique called the five whys technique. And this is about finding the root of a problem as opposed to the superficial. So something's happening in on the assembly line and you say, oh, this part is consistently breaking. Okay, why is it consistently breaking? Well, there's you know something to blame in the assembly process at this step. Okay, but why is there something to blame in the assembly process at that step? And so you keep asking why until you get to the root cause of the problem. And you know they say that you know with five whys, at least the the, the way that this technique is taught, with five whys you can get to the root cause of pretty much any problem if you can legitimately answer a new answer there. So. Okay, that colored pencil has, this pack has 24 colors. Why? Okay, why is that? Why is that? Why is that, right? So you ask why over and over again until you get to the root benefit or what the big transformation is that somebody's trying to go through. Another method um, that I have for uncovering these dimensionalized benefits is the Dan Sullivan question. And 
Um, Dan uses this in a lot of different contexts and teaches this in different contexts. But basically the question is, if we were having this conversation three years from today, looking back over these three years, what has to have changed for you both personally and professionally for you to feel happy with your progress? Specifically, what dangers do you have now that need to be eliminated? What opportunities need to be captured? What strengths need to be maximized and used? So it's just talking through what's the transformation that has to be true in three years for you to feel happy with your progress, right? Uh, and, and, you know, thinking about it outside of a particular context. So if it's a personal context, how, do they, how does the personal stuff impact professional? And professional, how does that impact personal? And thinking about it forward in time, like three years, what are the changes uh, when oftentimes you might be talking about something that somebody's going to experience over the course of the next couple months, right? But if you think about that, that type of thinking is what gets you to the dimensionalized benefit. All right, so I would encourage you to use this. Also sound off in the comments below if you have any other thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you get more content like this delivered to you. I'm Roy Fur. this is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. And remember, this episode is sponsored by me and High Velocity Copywriting, which by the way, this whole thing is a Clayton Makepeace technique. And inside High Velocity Copywriting, I did a one hour webinar that's, that's a bonus to the program. I did a one hour webinar on Clayton Makepeace's 20 point copywriting outline that I used to write my first million dollar winners as a copywriter. And you get that as part of High Velocity Copywriting, as part of the BTMS Insiders Training Library. So the link's in the description to check that out. I will also include a link to my original Breakthrough Marketing Secrets article on Clayton Makepeace's Dimensionalized Benefits Technique. I'm Roy for Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Every day in every episode, I'm here trying to help you become a better marketer. And man, if you use dimensionalized benefits more throughout your marketing, your copywriting, you will get better marketing results. I'll catch you again in the next episode. Thank you once again for tuning in to this daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Remember, check out the links with this episode for even more value. Now make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and engage in every way you can to keep this show going and growing and delivering daily value to you. I'll catch you soon for your next big breakthrough.